Hi, I'm Jamie Crittle from Beach House Veterinary Centre in Surrey and I'm here to talk to you about dog breeding. How to care for newborn pups. Initially, for the first three weeks, mum and the pups act as one unit. She ends up doing everything for them, feeding, keeping them warm, keeping them clean, stimulating um, them to go to the loo and cleaning up after them. And at this stage she will be protective, but it is really important that you still interact with her because at this stage the puppies will end up gaining their socialisation skills from that interaction. But just gauge it very carefully from what mum wants you to be doing. In the first few hours of their life, um, mum will be feeding them every two hours, but it's that first amount of milk that is really, really special. It's called colostrum and it has all of the antibodies and nutrients that the puppies need because their immune systems are so naive. And by taking on those antibodies, they can fight any infection. Because the bitch is feeding all of her puppies and the number can be anything up to 24, I think the world record is from a mastiff producing 24 puppies. Um, but usually a litter may be anything from four up to 12 or 14 for a larger breed. So she's feeding a lot. So she'll need to have more food and more importantly, need to be drinking much more so that she can produce a really good, healthy amount of milk for those hungry pups. From about day 10 to 14, the puppy's eyes will open and their hearing will develop and they'll be a lot more adventurous, interacting more with their, their siblings and also mum, but also having a good look around the environment within the whelping box. At day sort of 14, after the second week, I would really recommend you as the owner to get in touch with the kennel club so that you can register the puppies. This will be the really important thing that when the puppies go to their new homes, you can have all the right paperwork so that they can actually register the puppies themselves as their new owners. From about week three, you can start to worm the puppies, but do speak to your vet about their recommendations. Um, and often you might worm them every fortnight until they go anything sort of between six and eight weeks to their new owners. From about week three, their claws become really like little daggers and it, it's sort of necessary to trim them and keep a good close eye on them. As time develops, they are getting bigger, they're more boisterous and mum will be producing less milk. So by about weeks five, she'll be wanting to spend more time away from them. And at this stage, you should start really introducing the amount of food that they're eating. And as a result, it's this fine balance that by the age of six weeks, they should be fully weaned and therefore eating a really good, uh, complete and balanced puppy food, which your vet can recommend, which is the best one for them. Puppies' temperaments will change. So as prospective puppy owners come and visit, initially, I wouldn't let them choose a puppy before we weeks five because they change and it may not be quite suitable for them. But when they do go, then make sure that you have all of the right paper, documentation, advice that you can give these new owners. And the most important thing is that they take their new pup to their vet to have it thoroughly checked over to make sure that they're happy. This is just an outline to help you uh, take care of your puppies. But the most important thing, have a really good chat with your local vet and they can give you more specific advice to you and your pups.